Hello and welcome to 60minutes.com. We're with Morley Safer today, previewing his upcoming piece on regrowing body parts. Morley, you spoke with Dr. Atala, who's a leading researcher in regenerative medicine. First of all, what is regenerative medicine? Essentially, what it is, is using the body's own cells, its own intelligence, if you like, uh, to regrow damaged muscle, uh, failing organs, uh, a, whole, a whole array of things that could be applied particularly to uh, people on the waiting for, for organ transplants, and more particularly to the guys coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq so badly wounded. How many body parts or organs have they been able to grow, and are some easier than others? Uh, they've grown, so far they've grown um, ears, they've grown bladders, they've grown uh, 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 livers in mice, heart valves, uh, and in some of those areas, particularly heart valves and blood vessels, they hope to do human trials within the next five years. So there's a lot of potential here. You mentioned the military earlier. This obviously is very interesting to them, and they've invested a lot of money in this research, right? The Pentagon's put a great deal of money into the research, obviously, for help returning veterans. And there have been some really quite remarkable results of injuries that probably would have required amputation in a previous war. Uh, they're now being able to save those limbs and, in fact, to regrow tissue, regrow muscle. Uh, and that really is remarkable. And they also, using this this research have uh, attached hands. Strides are, be are being taken, and, and regenerative medicine, I think, is probably, in terms of trauma medicine, is really the wave of the future. Great. Thanks, Morley. And make sure to tune in Sunday night to 60 Minutes at 7 p.m. Eastern on CBS to catch the full story.